Welcome back to the DBS studios. Today, according to the Greeting Card Association, an estimated one billion Valentine's Day cards are sent each year, making Valentine's Day the second largest card sending holiday of the year. An estimated 2.6 billion cards are sent for Christmas, and women purchase approximately 85% of all Valentines. Well, there's no surprise there. Uh, Stephen, before we get the violins out, Lorraine and I have our little violins talking about love and everything. Perhaps you can tell us a little about little yourself <laughs> and then tell us, you know, what you, you know, your definition of love. Okay, um, I will start with uh, what I think about love. Mm -hmm. When I um, coined the love phrase, I think of three states. One is the state of love. Second is the state of being in love. And the third is the state of loving someone. I think these three are different in every aspect. And um, most times, um, persons confuse them. Um, it's easy to fall in love because we, you know, some people could fall in love over and over and over again because um, the uh, aspects or the characteristics of someone that would um, cause you to fall in love with them could be anything. So you may like or be attracted to something about me, and then you may be attracted to something about her, and these things could pull you towards the different persons. And then that feeling of butterflies and whatnot, it could come to more than one person. So being in love could be something that could be on and on and on. Uh, I do, well, okay. I <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay. So you see, you could fall in love with some uh, like different people. That's why you fall in love with different people, right? Because no, no. <laughs> you say right, I say wrong. Okay. What do you think, Lorraine? I've fallen in love several times. <laughs> but then I wake up and smell the coffee. No, no, I disagree. Uh -huh. When you fall in love with somebody, mm -hmm. that is the second state. Mm -hmm. When you, it's, you love and then you fall in love. You don't fall in love and then you love. Mm. Um, um, no, I, I, I defer. <laughs> so well, the two of you think that you fall in love first and yes. then you love? Yes. I, well, I beg to differ, and I would really like the viewers when we open the line to agree with me. <laughs> you because, would like them to agree Yeah, I would like you. them to agree with me because I don't see how it's possible to be in love. When you, when you, you say you're in love. love with lots of people, you're not in love with lots of people. You're attracted to lots of people. You're that's in love. That, you see, that that's is not in love. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. It's infatuation. You fall right. in love with infatuation cannot be in love. It, that's what it is. You fall in love with somebody, you infatuated with the person, you fall in love with them. But when you really get to know the person, those persons that you fall in love with, you don't really know them. When you get to know them, then you find out, no, this could never be love. Well, I so beg to differ with that. But <laughs> I won't say the same thing. I let the viewers give their opportunity. Very so, well. We'll so let, they, they we'll can, let they can, can yes, let them decide. They can email us. They can call us when we open the telephone lines. What do you think comes first? It's like the egg and the chicken. <laughs> is it love or is it in love? All right. So. Can I talk about the yes, issue Yes, yes, talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So um, um, again, I, I would say that we fall in love, and for me, the definition of that is just the, the, the state of um, um, yes, that hopelessness, that, that that feeling of of or you could call it butterflies or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. And some persons, that's why they coin the phrase love at first sight. That is the same, you know, in the concept of falling in. It's rubbish and all, love at first sight. Okay. Well, there's a, a saying that I like is that um, love at first sight is cured by the second look. Yes, <laughs> yeah. That's more like it. I can, that, that, well, that just means that it wasn't love at first sight to begin with. It was lust at first sight. Because if it was love at first sight, the second look, you keep on loving them. But it's, no, it's no, not that, necessarily that brings you lust. Uh, it's that not necessarily love. Right. All right, okay. So, so that brings you to the other two, right? So there's falling in love, there's mm -hmm. loving someone, and there's love. I believe that love is an absolute, right? There are many things that we see out there that we try to pass for love. And then if we want to coin um, this Corinthians and we say, okay, love is this, love is that, it would show you that love is an absolute. Love will not do wrong. Yeah, they right? say love's not supposed to hurt, it's, it's right? Not right? right. Now, the loving someone, I think that um, we're human beings, we're imperfect in nature, and that the, the whole drive um, that we, we go through living is to, to be loving others to get to that absolute status. So, loving the person would mean learning to not treat that person wrong or badly, 
learning to, to, to be righteous in whatever aspect it is, right? Learning to be faithful and loyal, learning to not have others, learning to, to, to you know, just, just, just do those things that you're supposed to that everybody knows that love is. So that is the loving process because you're learning and you're doing it and then these things are happening. But the state of love is something absolute that you will attain it when you have um, done all those things and you have gotten to that stage. You could say that I love that person because I will do you no wrong. Even if I was put around a million people who were trying to get me to cheat on you, it will not happen because I have attained that level. So you don't think that someone can love two people at the same time then? Um, romantic love? Wh whatever stage <laughs> of love you want to talk about. <laughs> No, I, I think they, um, you can't love two people at, at the same time, but you could be in love with two people at the same time. And, and uh, again, <laughs> now I bring it <laughs> Because you see, in love is not the absolute, right? It is, it is not that absolute. The, in love is human nature. We are driven by emotions. And you just inject the people with the, 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 the love hormone, oxytocin, and give them an extra libidose. And it's like they feel all oh, pretty, pretty with somebody else. So I think that is physical, the in love aspect. I think it is physical. Hormones. I kind of agree with no, you. No, Lorraine. Thank you. I'm kind of surprised. Lorraine, I, uh, no. I am surprised because I was thinking, poor young <laughs> man, the two of us are going to slaughter him. But I'm actually agreeing with him. Thank you. I'm surprised that you don't agree with most of it. Thank you. You're lucky that you're him. on the other side of the couch. <laughs> I agree with it. No, I, well, I, I still disagree. I understand your reasoning, mm -hmm. yeah. but I just don't think that that comes, that comes first. I, I, you know, well, comes maybe last. maybe I think we should ask first. you what is your definition of love. You don't want to hear about that. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I don't want to bore the viewers with it as well, because I think, you know, all I can say to that is that I think that if you have morals in this life, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to love, mm -hmm. sometimes you miss out on the fun, because you have a lot of morals. Yeah, but love has nothing to do with fun. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Of course, you love someone, you want to do things with the person, it's exciting, yeah. so in its own way, it's fun. And, and because you're not having the fun, you're not going to love the person? I never said that. You see, they, oh, now you you're talking about loving. You see? <laughs> yeah, I know, but as far as I'm concerned, love <laughs> let's go to the break here yeah? because i so disagree you know i asked you that question earlier about about yeah. when you ever frustrated the yeah, tears yeah, come yeah. to your eyes <laughs> ladies and gentlemen name the dfl sponsor whose products makes wonderful desserts and name your favorite flavor this is the law factor live on dbs when we come back i'm going to try and tackle this thing again with love and i'm going to open the phone line so that you can tell them what you think about this love and in love and also we're going to invite you to ring us with any of your requests we've got a whole leap of them here and also if you can tell us your top three love songs of all time we'll be discussing those and lorraine will be singing them for us so stay tuned <laughs>